Hey, it's Kyle. Let's learn about uh, JavaScript functions. So I have a basic project set up here. Um, and if you want to know how to get uh, your own similar uh, project set up, uh, please check out the video um, where I explain it. I'll put a link in the uh, description. Um, but basically what we'll have here is a file named index.js that we will be typing in. And every time we make a change, we will see it reflected here in our web browser. So the first thing we want to do is let's create a function. And to do that, uh, you start off by typing the word function. And this is a keyword to designate that you want to create a function. And so then you enter a space, and now we need to give the function a name. So let's name our function bear. And afterwards, we're going to put in two parentheses, and these are for containing um, potential um, parameters or arguments that we can pass in later. Um, and then we want to define where, uh, uh, what, what goes inside of our function. So we use that by using these little curly braces here or, or mustaches. And uh, this is known as our, uh, our block, our function block. So everything inside here is uh, operating with inside this, uh, this function here. Um, some things that are optional, so if you like, you could put the, the curly brace right next to your parenthesis there. You can put it down here. It's really up to you uh, of what your style is. My preference is uh, a space with uh, on the single line. So now a function on its own is pretty boring. Um, so let's make it return something. Let's have it return by using the return keyword. And we'll return the word grr. So now with this, we can call this function by saying our function name and then two parentheses. And this will call this function here. Now, the function will be called and it will return the word, uh, the string grr, but we don't, uh, we want to see the output of that. So let's create a variable that just says says, so we know what the bear has said. And let's do console log says. And when we save, we see that our function returns the string grr. But maybe we maybe we want to maybe the bear can say different things, and we want to be able to give the possibility for somebody else to just to decide on uh, what the bear says. So we can add uh, an argument up here, and so an argument is within these parentheses, and we give it a name. We're going to give it the name says, and we're going to say the bear says, and we're going to use that. Uh, argument here. And so now when our when we call this function, we can pass in an argument that will fill in uh, the, the variable says. So we can say the bear says grr. And so here in our console, you can see the bear says grr. Um, and so you can add any number of um, arguments that you want. So we could say, you know, what kind of type of bear is this? Um, can add another uh, argument for that. And so now we can say, you know, the grizzly bear says grr. And now our grizzly bear says grr. So within each function, um, there are some variables that are automatically created for you. Um, and one of those is a variable called arguments, which is a object that is array-like, um, meaning it's an object, but uh, the zero uh, points to our first argument and one points to our second argument. So if we didn't want to um, specifically uh, name uh, these arguments, um, we can go in here and replace these with um, each of the uh, positions in this arguments um, object. And we get the same uh, results as our previous one. Now an interesting thing about JavaScript is um, the when you have a function uh, declaration, it doesn't matter where you put it. Um, so right here we're calling our bear function, but we can put it afterwards and that's okay. It will run just fine. Um, this is known as uh, hoisting. Um, you can do it with variables as well, but it gets really messy with doing it that way. So it's, it's really only useful, um, in my opinion, um, when it comes to functions. Now there are two different ways you can uh, create a function. This was one way, and this is known as a function declaration. And then there's another way um, known as a function expression. And that's when you type var, like you're gonna create a variable. 
and you equal it to the function itself. Um, now these two work just the same um, except there's some subtle differences. Um, so for instance uh, while the function declaration lets you run it um, after or uh, lets you uh, create the function after you've called it, the um, function expression will not let you do that. And so here we should get undefined is not a function. So that's just letting us know that um, we're trying to call something that is undefined at that point. Um, so that's a, uh, a subtle difference, um, and most of the time you're going to want to just use function declarations, but there are use cases for function expressions. Um, so just something to, to keep an eye out for. So in every JavaScript function, there is another uh, variable that's automatically created for you, um, and it's called this. Now, this refers to the context in which the function is running. Um, and so if you don't specify a context, then it will go up the chain until it gets to the top. And so since we're running this in a browser here, we get the window object is, is what this is the context that this function is running in. Um, but we can change the context in which this function is run. Um, there are two functions uh, uh, primarily for calling a, a function um, with a different context. Um, so in doing so, let's, let's just create our own. Um, uh, let's put that console log back there. Um, let's console log this. And so right now it's just console logging our window. Um, but let's create a new context. We're going to create our own context. Um, and we're going to say uh, this is a type is a grizzly. And so now instead of using the parentheses here, um, we're going to use a, key, uh, a, a method called uh, call. So we're going to say dot call. Now the first argument uh, that we supplied to it is our context of what this will be when this function is called. And so we're here we're going to supply our variable context. And so you'll see that the window will change to our context to grizzly upon saving. And so now our this points to our own context that we've uh, assigned here. Um, and there's another method uh, to do this as well. It's called apply. Now the difference, the only difference between the two is that the first parameter um, uh, in, with call is uh, the context that we supply. And then every subsequent uh, parameter or argument uh, g given is um, each of the arguments that are be, uh, that will be fed to the um, arguments object in here. Um, but apply does the same thing where the first argument is the context, but instead of uh, providing a list here, we can provide an array instead, um, which could be handy. There's another way to assign context to a, a function um, that doesn't call the function immediately, um, and that's called bind. So let's say we want to uh, modify our bear function um, to, uh, to have this context. Um, we can say uh, bear equals bear dot bind. And then we give it our context that we want to bind it to. And so then later when bear is called um, as normal, um, we say grr and grizzly it now uh, still has our um, our custom context that we've provided to it um, so this is a, a handy way if you just need to bind uh, a custom context to um, a function that may be called later um, without actually calling it as uh, call and apply do um, immediately so the context of JavaScript functions uh, may seem rather obtuse at this point, but uh, they become really important as soon as you uh, start creating prototypes and, um, and, and you know, get a little bit more involved with JavaScript. Um, and, you know, it's, it's depending on how you uh, develop your API, um, you know, maybe you don't want to have your, uh, your, your uh, you know, parameters passed in as arguments here. We can say, Maybe we want to have our, our bound to our context here, where you say uh, what it says um, up here. And so then from here, uh, within our bare uh, function, we can say the 
type says this says. And so since this is the context that we're binding to bear here, uh, so when uh, bear is called, this equals our context, and we can do it in this way. Um, and we should get the same output um, as we said before. Um, but now you'll see that our context that we're logging here um, from this line is uh, equals to the changes we made to the context here. So I hope that has helped you uh, learn more about uh, JavaScript functions. Um, if you would like to see more videos, please uh, subscribe and like. And uh, thanks again for watching. Thank you.